Now let us discuss now about the trends in modern periodic table. And uh, first of all we will study about the characteristics of periods. Now as I have told you earlier atomic number is a more fundamental property as compared to atomic mass. As you know atomic number gives us the number of protons which are equal to number of electrons in a neutral atom. And by knowing the number of electrons in an atom, we can write the electronic configuration of that particular atom and we know about the number of valency electrons, we know the number of uh, electrons in the outermost shell which decide the chemical properties of the metal. From the valency electrons we come to know about the valency and we come to know whether a particular element is a metal or a non-metal whether it is more reactive or less reactive. So atomic number gives an idea of the chemical properties of the metal and non-metals. We come to know whether it is a metal or a non-metal or a metalloid in between, between uh, metals and non-metals. So on the basis of this we will now study the characteristics of periods. Valency electrons, how do valency electrons vary in a period? Let us see with the help of this table we have already made. On moving left to right in a period, see the valency electrons are increasing from 1 to 8 and from the electronic configuration of this uh, third group third period also you can see on moving fr from left to right in a period the number of valency electrons are re re regularly increasing from 1 to 8. So now see the valency. Now how to find out the valency? First of all I will tell you this. When the number of electrons, uh, valency electrons are 1, 2 and 3. Valency is equal to the number of valency electrons, but when the number of valency electrons are from 4 to 8, valency can be found by subtracting the valency electrons from 8. So now we can find out the valency ourselves, you, you can do it yourself, find out the valency of all these elements yourself and see how do the valency vary in a period on moving from left to right. Now you will see yourself the valency of sodium, this is the third period because as I have already told you because it has t three shells and number of period we can decide by the number of shells. So you can see the valency electron is 1, so its valency is 1, valency electrons are 2, so valency of magnesium is 2, valency electrons are 3, so its valency is 3. Now see this valency, valency of silicon is 4, 8 minus 4 is equal to 4, valency of phosphorus is 3, 8 minus 5 is 3, valency of sulphur is 2, 8 minus 6, valency of chlorine is 1, 8 minus 7 is 1 and valency of argon is 0, 8 minus 8 is 0. So now you can see yourself that valency of elements, how, how it is varying. On moving from left to right in a period, the valency of elements first of all increases from 1 to 4 and then it decreases to 0. So this is how the valency is varying in a period. Now let us see the atomic size. The atomic size refers to atomic radius in fact. Now let us see how does atomic size or atomic radius vary on moving from left to right in a period. 
Now, as we move from left to right in a period, you can see the number of elec uh, electrons are added to the same shell. The shell is not increasing, only the valency electrons are increasing. Electrons are added to the same shell and also the nuclear charge is increasing, the number of protons are also increasing. So, the hold of protons on the electrons also increases due to which the atomic size decreases on moving left to right in a period. See the other characteristic metallic character, metallic character as well as non-metallic character. Also you should know metals are electro positive elements because metals lose uh, electrons readily and form positively charged ions. So, metals are called electro positive elements and non-metallic character is the tendency to lose to gain electrons, tendency to gain electrons to form negatively charged ions. So, non-metals are electro negative and metals are electro positive. So, we can say metallic character and electro positive character are same and non-metallic and electro negative character are same. Now, let us see what happens by study, uh, studying this table. In sodium, the valency electron is 1. Now, sodium will react by losing one electron and it is easy to lose one electron. So, sodium is highly reactive, highly electro positive in nature. May Mg magnesium we ha has to lose two electrons to combine with the other elements. So, it uh, more energy is required to lose two electrons as compared to one electron and similarly is the case of aluminum. Here it has to lose three electrons to form compounds. So, metallic character decreases on moving left to right in a period and in the center silicon is a metalloid. It has metallic characters as well as non-metallic characters and here comes non-metals. Here phosphorus will have to gain 3 electrons which is a non-metallic character. It forms negatively charged ions. It is not easy to gain 3 electrons then sulfur has to gain 2 electrons little bit easier as compared to phosphorus and chlorine will be highly non-metallic and uh, highly electronegative in nature because it has to gain only one electron to react. So, we can see non-metallic character or electronegative character increases on moving from left to right in a period. So, now we can combine them together on moving left to right in a period the metallic character decreases and non-metallic character increases. Now, see the chemical reactivity. On the basis of metallic and non-metallic character, we can also predict the chemical reactivity of the elements. Any example you can take of any period, you will find that the chemical reactivity of metals decreases on moving left to right in a period and uh, reactivity of non-metals increases on moving to from left to right in a period. So, chemical reactivity and the metallic character and non-metallic character are more or less related to each other. Now, see the nature of oxides. As you already know that metallic oxides are basic in nature and uh, non-metallic oxides are acidic in nature. So, on moving left to right in a period, the basic nature of oxides decreases and in the center we will find amphoteric oxides which are neither basic nor acidic and then the acidic character of the oxide increases. So, this is how the nature of oxides vary on moving from left to right in a period. 
So, these are some of the characteristics of the periods. We will study now characteristics of groups. As you have already studied that there are 18 groups in the modern periodic table out of which group 1, group 2 and group 13 to group 17 are normal elements whereas group 18 elements are of noble gases. Group 3 to group 12 is placed after the second group up group 3 to group 12 are placed in the middle of the periodic table and contain transition elements. We will study only the normal elements that is group 1, 2 and group 3 to group 17 and group 18 elements also noble gases little bit about noble gases also about their valency electrons and valency. So, if uh, uh, number of valency electrons are 3, group number is decided by adding 10. So, the elements which have 3 valency electrons will be placed in 13th group 10 plus 3 and so on. So, let us now continue with the characteristics of the groups and first of all we will discuss the valency electrons. Now, for this you must write the uh, elements in increasing order of their atomic numbers from 1 to 20 because if you write it like this it will be easy for you to understand the various characteristics of the groups. From the atomic number you come to know about the number of electrons because atomic number is equal to number of protons and number of protons are equal to number of electrons in a neutral atom. By knowing the number of electrons you can write the electronic configuration and from the electronic configuration you can come to know about the number of electrons in the outermost shell which are called valency electrons. Now, you, let us see the first element hydrogen wherever you go in e, any of the group moving down a group see all the elements have equal number of valency electrons. So, this is the first characteristic that all the elements in a group have same number of valency electrons. Now, come to the valency. First of all, you must know how to find out the valency. Now, valency of elements is equal to the number of valency electrons if the number of valency electrons is 1, 2 and 3. If valency electron is 1, so, valency of lithium, sodium, potassium, hydrogen is 1. Valency electrons are 2 in group 2. So, valency of beryllium is 2, valency of magnesium is 2, valency of calcium is also 2. Same is the case with boron and aluminum. Valency electrons are 3, so valency is also equal to 3. When the number of valency electrons is 4 or more than 4, valency can be found by subtracting valency electrons from 8. So, valency of carbon is 8 minus 4, 4 and valency of silicon is 8 minus 4, 4 because both have 4 valency electrons. Valency in this group, group of halogens 7 valency electrons. So, valency of fluorine is 8 minus 7 1, valency of chlorine is 8 minus 7 1. This is the group of noble gases or inert gases. 18th group valency of helium here 2 is the valency electron, but its valency is not 2 or 6, its valency is 0. It is also inert gas though it has 2 valency electrons. In all other cases, valency of neon is 8 minus 8 0, valency of argon is 8 minus 8 
0. So, what do you see? That valency of all the elements in a group is same, it does not change. Now, let us see the atomic size. Atomic size, when we talk about atomic size, we talk about atomic radius. Now, you see first group, what do you see? That as you move down a group, the number of shells are increasing. In the first uh, uh, element, hydrogen, there is only one shell, lithium has two shells, sodium has three, potassium has four and so on. So, as the number of shells are increasing, the atomic size is also increasing. Same is the case in all the groups. On moving down a group, atomic size increases. Now, let us come to metallic character or electro positive character. Now, metallic character or at electro positive character is more or less same because you know metals react by losing one or more electrons to form positively charged ions. Metals are electro positive in nature because they easily lose electrons to form positively charged ions. Now, let us see on moving down a group what happens. Now, as we move down a group, the number of shells is increasing and so the valency electrons are also going far away from the nucleus. The distance between the nucleus and the valency electron is increasing as the number of shell is increasing. So, hold of nucleus or protons present in the nucleus on the outgoing electron becomes less. So, electron can easily be lost. So, we can say that potassium has more tendency to lose electron easily as compared to sodium, right. So, we can say same is the case with all the metals up to here, group 3, group 13, group 1, 2 and 13. On moving down a group, metallic character or electro positive character of elements increases. Now, let us come to non metals and here we talk about the 17th group which is most non-metallic in nature. Now, here as you know non-metals are electronegative in nature. Non-metals react by gaining electron, one or more electrons to form negatively charged ion. So, non-metals are electronegative. So, as we move down a group number of shell is increasing the distance between the nucleus and the outermost shell is also increasing. So, tendency to gain incoming electron decreases because the distance between nucleus or we can say the distance between the protons present in the nucleus and the incoming electron is increasing on moving down a group. So, tendency to gain electron decreases on moving down a group or we can say on moving down a group non metallic or electro negative character decreases. Same is the case with chemical reactivity of metals, chemical reactivity of non metals. On moving down a group chemical reactivity of metals increases. The reason is same as we discussed in the earlier case because on moving down a group metallic character is increasing. So, chemical reactivity is also increasing on moving down a group and chemical reactivity of non metals decreases on moving down a group and reason is same as we have discussed right now. Now, we will discuss nature of oxides on moving down a group there is no change in the nature of oxides. Now, let us discuss the merits of modern periodic table. As you all know that modern periodic table is based on atomic number. The elements uh, known till now 
about uh, 118 elements are arranged in increasing order of their atomic numbers. And atomic number is a more fundamental property on which the elements are arranged in the modern periodic table. It helps us to understand that uh, what is the reason behind it that elements in a group show similar properties and elements in different group show different properties. Because as you know the elements present in a group have same electronic configuration, same valency electrons, same valency that is why they show similar chemical properties and elements in different group possess different electronic configuration, different valency electrons, different valency which decide the chemical properties of the elements and that is why the elements of different group have different chemical properties. Also it tells us that why, what is the reason behind that properties of elements are repeated after 2, 8, 18, 32 elements. We have discussed it earlier also. In K, L, M, N shell, maximum number of electrons which can be accommodated are 2, 8, 18 and 32 on the basis of which we can uh, conclude that the properties of elements are repeated after this many elements that we have discussed earlier because 2 is the maximum number of electron which can be accommodated in K shell, 8 electrons in the L shell, 18 electrons in the M shell and 32 maximum electrons can be accommodated in the N shell. Also it explains the reason for periodicity of elements. Periodicity means repetition of properties after regular intervals. Because electronic configurations are repeated after regular intervals that is why the similar properties are also repeated after regular intervals. There are no anomalies in the arrangement of elements in the periodic modern periodic table as there were so many anomalies defects in the Mendeleev's periodic table. Here as the elements are arranged in increasing order of their atomic numbers, there are no anomalies or defects. Now let us discuss advantages of the modern periodic table. There are about 118 elements known and it is not possible to study the properties of each and every element. So with the help of periodic table, we can study different properties of the elements in an easy main manner, in a systematic manner. Because in each group there are elements of similar properties. So if we know the property of one element, we can come to know the property of the other elements also. So it has made the study of chemistry very systematic and easy. Also by knowing the atomic number, we can write the electronic configuration of elements. We can come to know about the valency electrons and the valency. and we can come to know the position about the position of the element in the periodic table in which group and in which period the element has been placed. And by knowing the position of the element in the periodic table, by knowing the group and the period of the element in the periodic table, we can predict the property of the metal element. Any, uh, so it has become very easy to predict the properties of the elements. Also we can predict what type of compounds the element will form just by knowing the atomic number because by knowing the atomic number we come to know about the valency and we can uh, find out the formula of the compounds formed by that element. Also pre uh, periodic table is used as a teaching aid in the classes by the teachers. It's, uh, it gives an idea about the uh, properties of the elements on the basis of the position in the modern periodic table. Now let us uh, see some activities which you should perform to understand better the periodic table. Uh, activity uh, 1, how do you calculate the valency of elements? I have already discussed, so you recall what I discussed, how will you calculate the valency of elements from the valency electrons? 
and uh, different criteria for metals and non metals and what is the valency of magnesium and what is the valency of sulfur magnesium has atomic number 12 electronic configuration 2a2 valency is 2 and valency of sulfur is also 2 how its electronic configuration is 286 and its valency is 8 minus 6 that is equal to 2 by subtracting the valency electrons from 8. Also you must do as I have told you earlier also write first 20 elements of the periodic table and then write the electronic configuration, write the valency electrons and valency and then see yourself how do valency electrons and valency vary on moving down a group and also you see that how do valency electrons and valency vary on moving left to right in a period yourself and it will become very clear to you that uh, uh, what is the criteria, how do the valency electrons change or they remain the same and you need not to memorize them. Another activity here you can see names of certain elements are written and their atomic radius is given in picometer. Now do this activity yourself, arrange these elements in decreasing order of their atomic radii. Now if you uh, arrange them what will you find? You will find that you have arranged it like this. Now, Li lithium has got the maximum atomic radius and fluorine has got, fluorine is not given here, oxygen, oxygen has got the minimum radius, how much? 66 and lithium has 152, beryllium has 111 and boron has 88 carbon 77 and 74. So, this is the arrangement of elements in decreasing order of the atomic radii. What do you see? To which uh, period these elements belong? So, if you have remembered all the first 20 elements, you will immediately come to know that these are the elements of second period. So you can see how the atomic uh, radii is varying, how does it vary on moving left to right in a period? Atomic radius decreases on moving left to right in a period and the reason I have already told you, recall the reason yourself. Activity 3, examine the elements of third group, uh, period, third period starts with sodium, Na. Mg, Al, Si, P, S, Cl, Ar starting from 11, and then classify them as metals and non metals. You can see sodium, magnesium, aluminium are metals, silicon is a metalloid, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, and argon. Argon is a noble gas and phosphorus, sulphur and chlorine are non-metals. The next question you answer, on which side you find the metals? On the left hand side and on which side you find non-metals? On the right hand side. So perform this activity so that you come to know more about the periodic table and you need not to memorize. Let us perform another activity. How do you think the tendency? to lose electrons change in a group. We have already discussed how this uh, tendency to lose electrons change in a group. To lose electrons, this character is known as the metallic character or the electropositive character and uh, I have already discussed with you the reason also. It uh, increases on moving down a group and how this tendency change in a period, the tendency to lose electrons decreases on moving left to right in a period, find out the reason yourself. 
another activity how would the tendency to gain electrons change on moving down in a group immediately the answer should come to your mind how does it change because you know the atomic number electronic configuration on moving down a group as the number of shell is increasing the tendency to gain electrons is decreasing that is the non metallic character or the electronegative character of the elements is decreasing on moving down a group and how would the tendency to gain electrons change on moving left to right in a period this also have discussed earlier the tendency to gain electrons is increasing on moving left to right in a period so do this activity yourself and uh, try to uh, learn more about the periodic table 